This year, DC have released some great animated movies, and 2018 is set to be the same. So far, three new DC movies have been announced to be released in 2018, and I'm going to briefly go over these and the comics that they have been based on. So there might be some spoilers ahead, though that's depending on how the movies are adapted, but even so, it shouldn't be any significant plot points that you won't see in the film's trailers. First, we have Gotham by Gaslight. For those who aren't aware of the comic, it features a Victorian-like era of Gotham and a steampunk-designed Batsuit and gadgets, and it's basically Batman vs. Jack the Ripper. And I must say, I'm really excited for this film, as it looks like it's going to be great. A link to the film's two trailers is in this video's description. Now, Gotham by Gaslight was an Elseworlds story, which means that it's separate from the main DC continuity. And as I said, it's basically Batman vs. Jack the Ripper. A second part of this story was never really intended, but thanks to the popularity of the first one, they did a separate story about the mayor of Gotham City trying to revitalize Gotham with the World's Fair. And may you select few truly enjoy this special preview of the Gotham World's Fair. And a madman who lives in a blimp who tries to burn Gotham to the ground. And this film seems to be a merging of the two comics. And if you haven't read them, I do recommend it because they're very good reads, and yet somehow at the same time manage to be quite light reads. Interestingly enough, this comic was at one point going to be adapted into a video game, and the clip you're watching now is the test footage of the original game. It was basically going to be like an Arkham series game, but set in the days of Jack the Ripper. Unfortunately, the project was scrapped quite early on, so this test footage is all we have of the actual game. And it's a real shame, because it would have been a fantastic game to play. And though I know it probably won't happen, a part of me is hoping that this film will be so popular that it may actually revitalise the project and cause an Arkham City-style game to be made of Batman vs. Jack the Ripper. Now, this film is a Bruce Timm movie, which, after Batman and Harley Quinn, isn't really a selling point, as that film was terrible. But the plot of the comics is pretty good, so hopefully this movie will be true to that. And if it is, it should still be a good film. After all, Batman vs. Jack the Ripper sounds like a winning formula, and it would be pretty hard to cock up. Unlike most Bruce Timm films, the voice of Batman is not Kevin Conroy. Instead, it is Bruce Greenwood, who has voiced Batman before in both the film Batman Under the Red Hood and the TV show Young Justice. And it's an interesting choice to play Batman. I'm not sure why exactly Kevin Conroy isn't doing it, as he normally stars in Bruce Timm's films as Batman. But I'd say Bruce Greenwood is probably the second best Batman voice there is, and he's certainly a hell of a lot better than the new 52 Batman's voice. So I have no problem with him as Batman. Most likely they are having him play the voice though, because the studio is releasing Young Justice soon, and they want to sort of cash in on the fans by having the same voice actor. Now, as I said, the film is set roughly in Victorian days, but all the characters from the current Batman universe will be there, including Dick Grayson and Jason Todd as two cut purses. Ain't that right, Dickie? Name's Jason, remember? Commissioner Gordon as, not surprisingly, the police commissioner, and Selina Kyle, and many more of the Batman universe characters, including, of course, Batman and Alfred. The exact release date of the film has not yet been announced, but expect this to be available in early 2018. The next confirmed DC released animated film is Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. Now this isn't the first animated film to feature the Suicide Squad, as they had a large role in the movie Batman Assault on Arkham, which was released in 2013. Though that movie is actually set in the Arkham game series universe, meaning it's a separate continuity from this new film, as the new film Suicide Squad Hell to Pay will be set in the new 52 animated films universe. And incidentally, the animated Suicide Squad film Batman Assault on Arkham is a hell of a lot better than the live action Suicide Squad, so if you haven't already seen it, you definitely should check it out. And if you're looking for more Suicide Squad content, then watch the second season of Justice League Unlimited, Episode 4, which is titled Task Force X, as they did a Suicide Squad episode, though under the name Task Force X. Meet Task Force X. Which was the original codename for the team in the comics, though I think we can all agree that Suicide Squad is a much better team name. Not much of the plot has been released, but we can expect pretty much the same lineup as the live action movie. Both Harley Quinn and Deadshot will 100% be in it, and most likely Captain Boomerang and Amanda Waller will be as well. An exact release date hasn't been released yet, but it's set to be released in spring of 2018. And the last confirmed DC film is based on the Superman Returns comic, and it's divided into two parts. So technically it's two films. The comics plot is the death of Superman by the hands of Doomsday, and then followed by his resurrection. So it looks as though Superman will die in the first part. That's all that matters. And then return in the second part. Now this story has been adapted before in the film Superman Doomsday, but to be honest, it wasn't the best of adaptions. The film is watchable, but it's not a masterpiece. 
hence why they're remaking it. This is actually only the second DC animated movie to be told in two parts, the first being The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and The Dark Knight Returns Part 2, and they were very good movies, so hopefully this two-part will be just as good. Well, it won't be just as good, The Dark Knight Returns as a masterpiece, but hopefully we'll still end up with something pretty good. The first part of the movie is set to be released in late 2018, and the second part will be released in early 2019. And that is it for the DC animated movies set to be released in 2018, though we will of course also be getting the third season of Young Justice, and hopefully that will be just as good as the first two seasons. Out of the three films, I have to say I'm most looking forward to the Gotham by Gaslight one, as the comic was great, and a film about Batman vs Jack the Ripper sounds like a perfect recipe for success. But what film are you most looking forward to? And what do you think the plot of Suicide Squad will be? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank, and as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.